Hey, good morning, CCA Intermediate Algebra students. Um, so we've been fortunate. The first two function ones we did were very, very simple ones. You probably passed very quickly. This one <clears throat> is very simple, but you just have to think for a moment. You just got to make sure the details are correct. As soon as the details are correct, it's really simple. So let's go through this one. So you're going to notice this equation up here looks confusing. Um, I'm going to kind of help you out and highlight this so it's not so confusing. Do you notice, whoopsie, I didn't mean to be moving that upside. Okay, put that in its place there. Do you notice on this equation how they have an f of 0 and then they have a g of negative 8? Okay, the f stands for the f um, line down here, which you will notice they have highlighted the f line in the blue. So the blue line represents the function of f, or the f function. And the g function down here is in kind of this pinkish purplish color. So the g function is your purple line or pink line, whatever you want to call that line. Okay. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this equation. But instead of putting f of 0 and g of negative 8, I'm going to just put in parentheses. So take a look at this right here. So, oh, and I've already given the answer, but we'll get there. So I've rewritten the equation right here, as you can see from this one, where it's negative 8 times, and then I put in parentheses what we're going to plug in for the f of 0, plus 4 times what I'm going to put in there for the g of negative 8. So how do you find that thing? Well, remember that it's called the f of x function or the g of x function, meaning the number in this parenthesis stands for the x coordinate. So when I look at the f function, the zero coordinate happens right here at the inner y intercept. When x is zero, where is this line cross? You might notice that line crosses right up here at positive one. Okay, so the f function when x is 0, y equals 1, so we simply put a 1. And look at that, I put in a negative 1. I should not have a negative 1 in there. That should be a positive 1. Okay, I wonder if I can quickly make that a positive. Let's try something really kind of fun here. Uh, we're going to try that line, or we're going to make it a little thinner. And... Boom. Okay, it kind of looks like a positive one. Not quite. I'm trying to fix this on the fly, guys. Just forgive me for a second. Yeah, kind of getting there. And boom. Now it looks more like a positive one. All right. So that should be a positive one. You can see when I did my math for this one right here. First of all, I'm just going to lock this in place. You can see when I did my math for this one, I did it correctly. I did it as though it was a positive one. I don't know why I put a negative one in there to start with. So when f is 0, the y coordinate of that is positive 1. So that's why we plug in there. Let's see if I can do the g one without confusing you too badly. So g of negative 8. So we go to negative 8 on the x-axis. So negative 8 on the x-axis. Remember the g function is the red or purple line down here. So when you go to negative 8, notice that this spot right here is when x equals negative 8, your y coordinate over here is negative 6. So we take negative 6 and we plug that in. Let's see if I did that correctly. Hey, I did that one correctly. Plug in a negative 6 over here. And we just go 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. Then negative 8 plus negative 24 is negative 32. So this equals negative 32. Let's try one more. Okay, maybe that confused you a little bit. And if it did, I apologize. Let's try one more here. All right. So we have the 5 times the function plus 5 times the g function. So we have 5 times the f function, 5 times the g function. So hopefully you know to put parentheses in the place of this one and parentheses in the place of this one. Okay, so it looks like this right here, 5 times the f function of 1 and 5 times the g function of 9, okay? Well, the f function refers to, again, oh, there's that one moving. Let's lock that in place. <clears throat> the f function refers to the blue line, and the g function refers to the pink or purple line. So 
when the x equals 1, when x is 1, where is the blue line at? So when it's at 1, what is the y coordinate right here? Well, the y coordinate right for this point would be right here at about negative 5. So I will plug in negative 5 right there. Hey, I did this one correct. And what is the g coordinate when x is 9? Well, when x is 9 all the way over here, the g coordinate, you'll notice, is this spot right here. And that spot right there is negative 6. So we look for what is the y coordinate when g equals 9. So we have negative 6 right there. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. Negative 25 plus negative 30 is negative 55. So our answer for this one is negative 55. Now, I am happy to help you, any of you with this one. We will fly through this. So it's really not that difficult. If you need help, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. <clears throat> but if you don't need help, um, go ahead and nail this one. It shouldn't take you too terribly long. Have a great day, guys, and we will see you tomorrow.